Hey friends, Christy here with Little Roots Ranch. And today we are talking about August seeded fava beans. Um, first of all, I am a fava bean addict. I absolutely love fava beans. They are a teeny bit more work, admittedly, but I think that they're well worth the effort, especially the flavor of fresh favas uh, eaten raw or on a salad, amazing. But uh, so quick history on fava beans. They are, even though they're beans, they are exceptionally cold hardy. And so they can be overwintered in climates where winter doesn't really get down below 10 degrees Fahrenheit um, in the winter. So it's a little bit of a gamble because generally uh, where I am, uh, of course, Pacific Northwest, but Stanwood in Western Washington, generally it doesn't get that cold. Uh, last year we had, or last winter, which was a La Nina, El Nino, La Nina, one of the ones, um, and it's pred predicted again for this coming winter. So it's supposed to be a little colder. So it's a little bit of a gamble, but I'm willing to take a shot. Um, but last year it got down to eight degrees. And so I didn't have, I didn't have any favas overwintered because even though I attempted it, the bunny rabbits ate all of my fava beans. So that's why I'm gonna let them get larger by starting them in these three inch pots, uh, little containers and three inches refers to the diameter of the top here. And so I've got 42 started. I already covered these ones. The fava beans I'm planting today are the Vroma, V-R-O-M-A, from Johnny Select Seeds. Um, any fava beans will work. And I absolutely love fava beans. So what I'm doing is the first thing I do is, with these I don't do them in soil blocks because the soil blocks are a little bit smaller. And the reason I'm using these is so that I can let them get a little bit larger, uh, AKA wabbit proof. Um, and then I can transplant them outside. I will put a few in the greenhouse to kind of compare and contrast, uh, but the ideal housing for these is outside and hopefully it doesn't get too far below 10 degrees this winter. Um, but the first thing I do is I make the mix for my pots. How I do that is I take a bucket, an empty bucket, which just does have a little bit of stuff, but I basically mix it 50-50 with the ProMix, what is it, the Mycorrhizae, probably saying that wrong, the ProMix mix, which is, looks like that. And I blend that 50-50. This is a different bucket, much heavier. And this is just compost that was delivered. Um, and so I mix that 50-50 into my bucket and give it a good blend so it looks like that and then i fill or mostly fill my little containers with it and I, then i set the seed on top uh one to because i was getting down to the end of my seed so i wanted to make sure i had i didn't run out of pots or make too many or whatever but then all i do is i'm going to want to plant these about one inch deep and so i'll dig like a little hole and then cover it. If it's not an inch, I'll grab some of my premix because I use the same stuff to top it off. And basically, that's all I'm doing is just making sure that they are down about one inch and nicely covered. Of course, the first thing I'll do when I'm done with this is water them really well and make sure that they stay watered uh, till they emerge, which is always exciting. Um, and then, like I said, I'm gonna plant a couple in the greenhouse. I'm struggling a little bit with my greenhouse being full of everything else. Um, but, and then put some of them outside as well, or most of them, I should say, uh, and hope that they last through the winter. In the past, I've had better experience with spring planted uh, fava beans, but I also don't think I did a really good job of planting them or the rabbits got them. So I'm hoping that with starting them in the pot so they can get a little bit large but not root bound that i can like i said get them bigger and so they stand a chance against the rabbits uh and then in the spring i'll be able to have wonderful fava beans one thing i also love about fava beans is i love how the flowers smell uh this spring i had planted them next to my greenhouse 
and when I was out there, it just smelled so nice and I really loved it. Uh, tracks all the pollinators and stuff like that and the flowers are cute. So yeah, like I said, uh, you can plant any time in August uh, and September. I prefer late August um, personally. And of course you can plant whenever you'd like, but these bad boys are ready to go. And like I said, I'm gonna water them deeply. And then when they get probably, I don't know, like six inches tall or so, or uh, kind of depend, depending on the weather and all that and how quick I can get them out, uh, I'll put them out. But so if you haven't planted fava beans and you're wanting to grow some, I suggest doing it soon. And uh, yeah, sorry, thanks for the quick video, or sorry. <laughs> Uh, just want to do a quick video and show you about the fava beans and of course I'll feature them in like garden tours and stuff in the future so you can see how they're doing. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.